I think a specific goal is so much more important because what is a wishy-washy goal? How do you know if you met it or not? How do you know if you're working towards it? If you say, I want to be healthier. Well, you know, if I'm 450 pounds on January 1st and I'm 449 pounds on December 31st, I am healthier. I lost a pound, you know. <laughs> but I don't think that that's really what the goal should be. So, you know, I think they need to be realistic. They need to be something that will though, be enough of a reach where they'll make a change. You know, I think we should be looking for like big bang stuff, like what what really would make my life better, and then and then something, but something you can measure. Am I really, you know, it's within your control. You can figure out how to get there. So yeah, like I think you know, saying I want to lose some weight. Well, how, you know, I want to lose this much weight by this day, and this is my plan for getting there. Then that's something you can check in towards, and you know, every month, like how am I doing on that? Every week, yeah, you know, I can weigh in. I can see if I'm making progress. And I guess that's why it's important to be so realistic, because there's nothing more disappointing than not meeting your goal. Thank you for joining us on Trial Lawyer Nation. 